It's why the Muslim Islamic religion, why you should choose that. So number one reason, it's an uncorrupted book. It's claiming to be the direct version, it's a translation. Okay. Version would be something meaning something else. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. precisely. So it's a translation. Precisely, it's just okay. a translation from Arabic into English. Uh -huh. So what we say about a lot about God, God is unlike his creation. So God is not a man. He's not a woman, yes. he's not an idol, he's uh -huh. not a statue, he's not a tree, he's unlike his creation. Look at even Malachi looking at me, that, that resonates with him. Yeah. So, when we understand who Jesus worshipped in John 17, 3, in the Gospel, Jesus says, For this is eternal life, uh -huh. that they may know you as the only true God, yeah. and whom you have sent, the messenger Jesus Christ. Yes. So he himself confirms that he is a messenger. Yes. That's it. Yeah. He didn't invite people to say to him, listen guys, I'm God, yeah. worship me. Uh -huh. Nothing of like that whatsoever. Rather, he gave soul glory and soul recognition of God as being the only true God. Yeah. We can see this in the classic example of um, John 17, 3, which I've already mentioned to you, yeah. where Christ said, for this is eternal life, that it may know you as the only true God and I'm his messenger. Yeah. In Mark 6, 4, he's described as a prophet which is the Islamic view of him. Yes. In Matthew 21, 11, same thing, a prophet of God. No more, no less. Right. He does not invite divinity upon himself. Yeah. Even to the extent, there's a story in the Bible where a rich young man, he runs up to Jesus and says to him, good teacher, what must I do to get eternal life? That's no, that's in the Gospel of Mark, okay. chapter 10, verse 17, okay. where, he say, where the young man runs up to Jesus after yeah. Jesus giving a sermon, and he says to him, good teacher, what must I do to get eternal life? And Jesus says to him, why do you call me good? There is no one good except for God alone. Makes sense, eh? So he's pointing to someone else who is only good, hence God is the only good. And he does not want to have that title because he realizes the title of goodness in whole is only, to, only belonging to God. So this is, does it make sense? In Mark chapter 12, verse 28, a scribe, a scribe is someone who writes book, religious books, he said to Jesus, what is the greatest of all commandments? And Jesus says to him, hear thou, O Israel, your Lord God, the Lord is one. Not three, one, which is what Jesus is. Not ten. Not ten, exactly Malachi, not five, just one. That is who Allah is, the one true God. No partners. We don't, we don't say God is like a, a, a man or a baby or a child or like, like his creation. He's beyond the creation. Makes sense. Well, he's a blessed child, subhanAllah. In terms of like, let's say I was to eventually take my shahada and convert and I wanted him to come with me. What do I do about mosques and teaching him? Because I know there's classes of children and certain mosques and stuff. I don't know if it's disrespectful. I know that women and men pray at different times, so I don't know what I would do. Okay, so basically speaking, very easy. So do you, is there a mosque nearby to where you live? I'm from, I live in Romford. Romford. There is a mosque which I'm familiar with. You know where the, shop, you know where the shopping centre is? Yes. Now, when you come out, there's a road leading, I mean, I'm not familiar with Romford very well, but I know there's a, there's a mosque there. Cause I, we were recently in Romford doing this type of stuff. Okay. And it's literally only about a five to, five to eight minute walk. Yeah, I will give that to her. That's a five to eight minute walk from the town centre. Okay. I've got a good friend of mine who's a reaver, English brother. He's, he lives in Romford as well. So, um, you know, he lives not too far from the mosque. It'll be easy peasy. Yeah. You can take him. He can learn the Quran. I don't mind traveling. I just would like him to learn. Oh, God bless you. Listen, listen carefully. What's your name? Georgia. Georgia, my Mustafa, Malachi, you're blessed. Listen to this, Georgia. What about, what about your partner? Have you got a partner? Or I have one. You've separated all? Yeah, yeah, okay. Absolutely. Now listen to me, my sister. Listen to me carefully. I think Allah has sent you for a purpose that you accept Islam today because there is only one God. God sends messengers of which Jesus Christ, Abraham, Joshua, David, Solomon, Moses, they were messengers of God. They came to their communities to bring them back to worshipping God, Georgia. And they, that's what they invited to. There is only one. When I was 16, 10 years ago. And I was going to take my shahada there and I just didn't end up doing it. I came home. Yeah. 
and then I started going back to church again and I just never really got into it. So recently I have been looking back into it. So it's interesting that I saw you guys today. Oh, this is God's sign and a blessed child like you've got as well who's so attentive. That's incredible. Mashallah. Listen, what we say, listen to this. Georgia, become Muslim today. I, I can help you if you want me to. In term, Yes, it's very simple. Shall I tell you how? Listen carefully. You testify there's only one God. God sends messengers, of which the final message is the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace. The Quran is God's final revelation to mankind. Following the Old Testament and the New Testament, which were given to Moses and Jesus, that which was given to them, not the current one which we have, which is corrupted. Yeah. The final testament of the Quran, which I'm going to give to you, um, that's a final revelation given by God to mankind for mankind's betterment. So we pray five times a day, as you're aware. That's also in the Bible. Yeah. Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 4 and 6. They, the prophets, did you know, they prayed exactly like we Muslims yeah. pray, bowing and prostrating. Uh -huh. you, I think you're ready to become Muslim. Listen to me carefully. In terms of a life change, all you've got to do slowly, have you got, first of all, have you got Muslim friends? Yeah, I've got a few. Female Muslim friends? Uh, not so much? Not really. Not really. Okay. Like I have Muslim friends, but not Muslim friends that are practicing. Not Muslim friends, but yeah. like, to be like an encouragement. Encouragement, that's it. So it's vital, Georgia, that you are surrounded by good companionship. Uh -huh. Not those who are going to give you a side image of the religion. Right. So in that case, what I can suggest to you, become Muslim today. Yeah. I can help. I can literally help you because I know the mosque is just like I said, a five to six minute walk from the town centre. Yeah. It's I don't know. I'm not familiar with the roads. But there's a mini roundabout in Romford, yeah. and there's a sharp left turn, which takes you into a mosque, which is it's like a little big. That's like it's like it's like an industrial area, but it's, it is a nice little mosque there. So what we can do, become Muslim today. Testify there's only one God. Yeah. God sends messengers and that's it. Become Muslim. Yeah. Are you ready for this? I think you are. Yeah, I'm no, there's no need to be. Georgia. Are you Muslim, bro? Okay, this is okay. So, listen, Georgia, you don't need to be frightened. Listen to me carefully. Allah has sent you here for a reason. Okay? That you accept him. You were thinking about that 10 years ago about doing the Shahada. Yeah. Now, this is the time has come because it resonates in your heart what we're saying. Allah is one. In terms of um, Malachi learning about Islam, uh -huh. that, that is a great opportunity. After they finish school, from I think it's usually from five to seven, they learn the Quran. Yeah. You know about that anyway, don't yeah, you? He's five. He's five. Bless him. You'll be ready to go. What we can do, take this step. There's no need to be scared. Do you live alone with him? Yeah. Excellent. So you've got no out external pressures. Yeah. Are you in good terms with your family members? No, I don't speak to him. You don't speak to him. So God, listen to me. Listen to me, George. Allah. Allah is merciful. If everyone will forsake you, God won't. So my friend stopped you, he spoke, yeah. become Muslim. I, I can... Are you okay, Malika? Do you want a bag? Do you want to carry a bag or something? Do you want it, Shalak? Shalak, should we open it for you or are you happy? Oh, oh, bless you. Okay, Georgia, listen. Become Muslim now. Listen to me carefully. I have to, I have to take my shahada. Yeah, pardon? Would I not have to take my shahada? No, yeah, take it now. Let's do it now. It's easily done. What, first of all, what if, um, if it's Malachi, come back. It's, it's dangerous here. There's lots of naughty people here. Yeah? So stay with your mummy. Okay, yes, yeah, stay. Okay, we're not going to be there. We're going to be gone in. She's, you're going to be gone in a few minutes, maximum, I promise, yeah? Georgia, you become Muslim? Do the shahada? Witness that there's only one true God? I'll help you. We, what we'll do, what we'll do, we'll arrange for young Malachi to get, so I'm, I'm being honest with you, okay? This is not like some sort of uh, attempt just to make you become Muslim and that's it. You live in Romford, there's a mosque there. I know, I know the people there very well. I don't well. want to do in Stratford. I want to be in a mosque. I want to, uh, not that it's like different, yeah. But I don't want to feel like I'm just not taking it seriously. I want to do it in a serious environment. Environment. This is because you know lots of people become Muslims. At least what you do, take it now and then go into the masjid and testify. Because I'm telling you, there is a mosque there off the mini roundabout in Romford. I think it's to, when you go past it, Queen Mary Hospital or something like that, King George Hospital, something like that anyway. So become Muslim, take your shahada now, then go and testify again in front of a... Uh, when you go in the mosque, you're going to do it in front of sisters anyway. So, at least become, go away today, become Muslim. And then, when you do it in your home, 
or when you go to the mosque driver and, and you get because you said you don't know any female Muslim females. Yeah. So what I want to do, I want to make, I want to get people into contact with you who will help you. That brother in the corner, his wife is a revert, she, a Eastern European lady. I can ask him to give, she can give him your, uh, get your exchange numbers with you, and then you can meet up with. She can offer you some support. Very strong because lots of people of different ethnicities are becoming Muslim. Please take this step because Allah will open doors for you. Georgia, no, Georgia, there's no need to be frightened. All you listen, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking you to believe what you don't already believe. Yeah. Simply, you said there's only one God, the, and the Prophet Muhammad is God's final messenger, along the messages which came before him, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, upon whom be peace. So, just very quickly, just recite something. Okay, let's do it. Good. So recite after me. I'm gonna say it in Arabic slowly, okay, and then, um, and then in um, what you do, you see this. Just cover your chest area. Oh, sorry. That's, that's fine. It's all right, that's fine. No, yeah, that's fine. Allah bless you for that. So testify after me, Georgia. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Il Allah. Il Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. I bear witness. I bear witness. And I, and I testify that there is only one God, only one God worthy, of worship. worthy of worship. And I testify, and I testify that the Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad is, God's final messenger. is God's final messenger from the, from the messengers from the messenger which, preceded him. which preceded him. And that now has officially made you a Muslim. SubhanAllah, Allah bless you my sister. Allah bless you. Cuddle your mother, give her a tight hug. She's now Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Now, Georgia, to help you now. That's all right, you've taken testification. How are you feeling? I feel good. You feel good? Do you feel emotional inside? Yeah. Okay. So what you going to do, Georgia, I'm going to get a contact number for you in the next few moments. And I'm going to give that, and I'm going to, give that to you. Okay. And you contact the sister, or she, if you're happy to give your number. Yeah. Okay, however you want. If you, oh, good. Allah bless you. So. I'm going to get that number, we're going to exchange number, then that sister will contact you and I'll make sure that she contacts you, she will offer you some sort of assistance. Now in terms of the, the message in Romford, which you no, want to go... No, you, no, you can go anytime really, I can, I can help you in any way, which way I can. Or what I'm going to do, if you're happy, that I can also take your number, I'm going to get my friend to ask him if his missus, and he lives in that area, if, if she can help you as well, yeah, for the sake of Allah. So what we do now, I'm going to give Tom a double, I know, but yeah, you can give it to me. Um, yes, good, good idea. So what you do is type your number into my phone, so you don't have to dictate it because this has been recorded. Oh, yes. Yeah, so just type my, uh, just type your number in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a missed call on that number to so save my number on that as well. Okay, my name is Mustafa. Okay, so just save that, Georgia. You got it? Fantastic. Okay, George, now what we're going to do, I'm going to get your number for, to well, get your number. This, this brother, inshallah, he, who, his wife can help and, you, and the other brother as well. You okay, uh, Shweb? There's some more stuff there, brother, if you want to do in that carrier bag, the white the Tesco carrier bag. Okay. No problem. So they will contact you. You're not going to be alone. I'm so happy that you're not too far away and that mosque yeah. is a blessing in itself. Like I said, we do this type of work in other areas. You can check out one of the channels of this brother. We were in um, Romford about three weeks ago in the town centre. We what's went on Sunday channel? when it was a bit. Pardon? What's your channel? Right, it's called. So this, yeah, that's another thing I need to tell you. Yeah. So we got um, Dawa to Soul. So you can check that on YouTube. Yeah, of course. Is this? Are we? Pardon? And yours, Achi, as well. You wanted to have yours. Is this um, on YouTube? No, this is just in my notes because my battery. All right. Can you? Okay. Can you? Okay. So YouTube. Yes, yeah, so I can show it to you. Just subscribe to the channel immediately. Yeah, that's and then, fine. And then just. Okay. Thank you. Allah sent you here for a reason and your blessed son as well. If, if you've been forsaken by people, Allah will not forsake you. So Georgia, this is the channel. That's the channel. You see this one? It's called Sam yeah. Dawa. Malachi. Malachi. He's going to the bin. <laughs> you sort of watch him all the way, yeah? Run, 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 boy. Help! 
Ja se kuu põe valda. Bless him. Okay, um, uh, you you subscribe to the channel. Whenever he uploads the video, yeah. that will come on. On oh, the other brothers as well. Let me just type his one in as well. So that's, that's loading up the thing. Okay, excellent. Just subscribe to that. Uh -huh. Fantastic. So what happens, it's pretty quick at uploading. Yeah. So we can have our discussion because you'll be like, it'll be shown to the world. That, yeah. you know, everyone, because lots of people in Georgia are becoming Muslims of all different backgrounds, of all different nationalities. It's a ubiquitous face for oh everyone. Gosh, everyone's going to see me do that, right? Yes, but if you want your face, but yes, but if you want your face blur blurred out, I can arrange that as well. Yeah. Would you prefer that? You don't mind, that's cool. Right now, I've got your number now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get that, uh, see if he's available, but the other brother for sure. In fact, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do it. Right. I'm going to have to go. Okay, cold. okay, that's fine. Uh, Thank you, I bless you. Okay, yeah. Mustafa, remember? Yeah. The brother I'm going to, is going to make, make reference to me. Yeah. And then we're going to help you out. We're not going to mess around, we're going to help you out. Okay, God bless you. Malachi, look after your mum, won't you? You're going to give me a handshake. Allah bless you, son. Okay, you um, take care. He gave me the Sorry, I haven't. Here you are. Let Thank me give you the Quran. So Thank you so much. Thank All right, you have a take care. And we'll be in touch soon. Thank okay, take care. Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. Wa alaikum salam. Subhanallah. So here we have again, by the grace of Allah, in Stratford this evening, on the second day of Dhul Hijjah. And mashallah, we've got the sister who's had experience with um, a bit, uh, associating with Muslims. And she was thinking about Islam nearly a decade ago. But Allah has now guided her to the path of Islam. It's now making dua to all the people watching that Allah uh, gives her the tawfiq to remain firm in, in his path. And inshallah ta'ala, she will benefit by becoming a Muslim and Allah guide her. Um, inshallah, make dua for the sister. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.